Good afternoon, everyone. It is Monday, May 5th. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Yes, I know that's an American holiday. We... Apologies to my Latinx friends for our cultural appropriation. Uh, but we've got modern today, and we've got 66 decks to look at. So let's get going. Um, there's some interesting stuff in here. So... We've got to start off, Jade Cavey gets a 5-0 with Yorion Bant Control, it looks like. This is more Bant Mid, Bant Eurosa. It's kind of a, it's a Kinnon deck. That's interesting. So kind of a Eurosa with a uh, Kinnon finish. It's looking for non-humans, and both Uro and uh, Urza is a human. Resto... No Kiki. But, uh, yeah. Interesting little uh, mid-range thing there. Doubt with humans. This is a non-companion build. We've got a Vincer in the main deck. That's kind of interesting. Don't see that very often. Two General Kudros. Three Charming Princes. 37 Creatures. Almost feel like this deck could play. Um, was it Umro, the um, the companion that? Except for the Aether Vials, there's your your hang up there. But flank attack twenty seven with a Lurus Grixis Delver deck. This is kind of one of the hot new decks that's come come back really, uh, mostly because of Lurus and Sprite Dragon, are what's making this deck work again. Delver strategies have always been there. It feels like they're either busted or they're unplayable. And this might be the first time Delver is just kind of fine. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Blindside 09 with a Lurus Hardened Scales deck. And nothing. Three Ozoliths. Ozoliths. Only two bobbles. It's a little low for a Lurus deck, but. You gotta fit your your game plan in there. Amigo Brielle gets a five zero with a Lurus. Uh, this is a junk deck. Yeah. In the Rock family, kind of a uh, the black green white approach with paths and lingering souls. And what other white stuff we got? Kaya's Guile. That's a good one right now with all the Lurus decks running around. Put Loris on the stack. Oh yeah, I'll uh, I'll exile your graveyard at instant speed. Thank you. And make you sack a creature. Uh, Nils Fit gets a five zero with a Loris. Um, this is kind of a just guy control deck. Sprite Dragon's the finisher here. Meddling Mage and Snapcaster Mage. Interesting. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess just got control. It might play similarly to a Delver deck. Uh, kind of a protect the queen kind of thing. But, yeah, this is either control or tempo. Depending on how you play it, I think. Threm and M with a Lurus looks like Jund here. Yeah. Croxa, Ooze, Tarmogoyf, Hex Drinker. That's a nice... Nice threat package there. A couple of Ren and Sixes. And of course your Bobbles and Spell Bomb. And a Seal of Fire. All the recurring hits. D. Paulson, 1414. With. Uh, this is Simic Reclamation. No companion. Just pretty much the straightforward Simic Reclamation. Don't see anything too surprising here. Except maybe only one Mystical Dispute. Are there more in the main? Nope. That's a little low, I feel. QC Sando with a Yorion. Uh, this is Bant Control. Or uh, maybe it's more of a tempo deck. Or even a mid-range. Spell Queller, Click, Uro... Just kind of Bant Mid. 80 card Bant Mid Pile. Or Bant Snowblade. 
Haven't seen actually Bant Snow Blade in a while. A couple of weeks, I think. Mason Clark. Oh, this is interesting. This is Lurus Humans. So no Reflector Mage, no um, Mantis Rider. Instead, we've got Unsettled Mariner, Mayor of Averbrook, Bob. That's an interesting take. Your Bobs are going to be kind of nice in this because you're never going to pay more than two. That's an interest. Yeah, I like that. Watch for this build. This is the first time I've seen Lurus Humans. Watch for this. Teabag Tom with a Yorion four color snow control deck. Abominable Tree Folk. Just a four mana big thing. Dead of Winter to sweep things up. Audio 336 with Lurus based uh, Jund Prowess, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's the best way to describe this. Interesting little aggro deck. Triesta with Lurus Shadow. This is Grix's Shadow. So there's our first shadow deck of the dump, I believe. Fallen con, fallen conflicts, fallen conflicts, flitch. conflicts. That could be pronounced a few different ways, I think. Uh, what do we got here? We've got an Obosh Luca deck. So Planebound Accomplice trying to hype, trying to whip out Luca as quickly as possible to minus to it to get Emrakul into play. So this is a this is going to have a bunch of three drops. Yeah. Arbor Elf. So you've got birds. So what you're trying to do is go one to three and on turn three you are you're putting out some three drop or other What would be the ideal here? Arbor Elf and Utopia Sprawl. So you could get four mana on turn two. And accomplice and activate it on turn two is possible. And then you would minus Luca to sack the accomplice. And your only higher in the deck is Imrakul. Uh, let's see... Put that card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library. So it doesn't get haste or anything, but you're just going to have a turn two Emrakul. So that's that's the goal of this deck. Turn two Emrakul. All right. Now, it's also doing beatdown stuff with your other three drops in Obosh, doubling the damage. So Denmark Dan with... Uh, what do we got here? Grixis Control? No, Blue-Red Control. Blue Moon. Yep. Good old Blue Moon. Questionably Awesome is running Lurus Bogles. And let's see, two Sentinel's Eyes. Uh, a couple All That Glitters. pick your there's enough cheap auras now for bogles that you can mix it up how you know whatever fits for you the best steffy weffy 215 with a gigantha niv mizzet bring to light deck i like it uh, i've been messing around with gigantha as well in a niv mizzet build uh, i'm also trying to make it so that i can run yorion so I'm running 80 cards. So I start with Yorion. And now this was before um, Red Green Midrange kind of fell off a little bit. We're not seeing that deck as much because of all the companions. But with all the Blood Moon effects that were flying around, 
I'd start off with Yorion and then switch to Gigantha for game two and three, uh, because Gigantha kind of helps you get around uh, getting hampered by Blood Moon effects. Headshot 93 with a Lurus uh, Vizier, Devoted Vizier combo deck. And this is a pretty straightforward build outside of the Lurus, which basically is free in the deck. I mean, maybe that deck wanted to run Heliod, but it didn't before. I don't recall if there were any permanent three drops before um, Theros came around. Nico 41 with... This is just good old Jund. We're, we're not giving up our Lilianas here, folks. We're not we're not for this new Lurus stuff. We're just going to play good old Jund. Good on them for getting a 5-0. Hugo Freitas won with Electro Balance. I think they've played this deck a few times. Or, or scored 5-0s with it a few times. Because I remember the handle and I've seen the deck. I haven't gone back to see if the two go to go together. But I would be willing to bet it does. Ak S with Obosh Gruel Aggro. No Pillage. Um, Hyrex Tower Scout untaps things. It's really trying to go big on the mana here. We have value Kiki Jiki. I think we do. Maybe just trying to copy your glory bringers. That would be kind of cool. Dabbing the biggest B. It's the biggest B with uh, what do we got here? Junk. Is this junk? No, this is Mardu. I don't know. Oh, this is the Unburial Rights deck. Okay. It's a Mardu Reanimator. What are our discard outlets? Collective Brutality. Season Pyromancer. If you're uh, looking for something to do with your Ionas since they got banned in EDH, this is this is something to look at. Mr. Rabe with a Yorion Urosa deck. Uh, Bant mid-range stuff. Uh, it is running Fatal Push, so this is, I guess, four color. So, excuse my Bant, but maybe we're just four color snow. Four color Snorion. There we go. Uh, Jake's baked with uh, what do we got? This is Peer Through the Depths. Where's my combo? Is there a combo? Oh, this is Scape Shift. Okay. Yeah. Uh, rug Scape Shift. Yeah. Citrus D. With a Lurus uh, Colossus Hammer. Cigar is a deck. Kind of a equipment combo deck. I'm just surprised. I, well, I guess it's a good thing Colossus Hammer doesn't give Trample. I guess that would be a problem. Um... I'm assuming that that handle has something to do with Roman numerals, but I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. Uh, they are running a Yorion four-color snow control deck. And I think that's about the best, best way to describe that. And Brainstorm 39 with another Yorion four-color snow control deck. There you go. This is your control deck of the format if you are so inclined to such things. Eminem Berry with Lurus Burn. Boros Burn. Just get him dead quickly. Aluren 85 with Lurus Blue White Control or are we just guy? We are just guy control. Shine 0905 with a Gyruda Titan Field deck. Yeah. That's what this is. 
We got our Titans. We got our fields. There's no Scape Shift. There's no Amulet. And Garuda. You know, primetime is uneven. Even CMC. So if Garuda can get it out, even better. We've also got Grand Arbiter to slow... Grand, Grand Arbiter Augustin, sorry, to slow things down a bit. A Torrential Gear Hulk. That's interesting. This actually looks like a fun deck. I don't have four Kozilex. But this would be fun to play. Aether Mage's Touch. Just put something from the top of your deck into play. Oh, this looks like fun. I might have to I might have to uh proxy this up or build this out the best I can and give it a try. Igdrizel with uh this is Eldrazi Tron with our Karn package and all the good Eldrazi Tron hits. It is running Hangerback Walker. That's a little unusual for the deck. That's usually on the side. But you need your sideboards. Torpor Orb. Torpor Orbs. With all the Yorions out. Spoiler alert. There's 14 Yorion decks in this dump. Um, good card right now. Be watching for it in sideboards. Maybe think about playing it yourself in your sideboard. Taylor91 with Neobrand. And next... Shark Caster Mage. Okay, this is a new handle because now we got sharks. So, yeah. Um, this has got to be a new handle. If not, they're pretty prescient. Uh, this is Titan Field. No, no companion. Um, two Grazers. The best sloth that ever played in Magic. King Magic 95 with a... What do we got here? This is... This is green, red, mid range. This was the king of the format for about a minute and a half. Um, running the pillages, I have seen builds lately that that don't play them, even if they are running Obosh. This list is not. Um, but it's just all your good hits here with one Chandra and a bun bunch of aggro green, red stuff. Banjo Caveman with a Lurus. Uh, this is... Is this Black Red Unearth? This is Black Red Unearth. Yep. Crox is just a two-drop. That still kind of blows me away. Uh, Shea Straussman? Straussman? Shea Straussman? That might be it. With a Yorion... Bant? Snow Control? Are we Bant? Or are we Four Color? We are Bant. So there's another control deck for you. Lord of the Lobsters gets a 5-0. Okay. So back when Kiki Cord, when Jeff Hoagland first made Kiki Cord a thing a couple of years ago, it was very common for them to be running 61 or 62 cards. And you could almost guarantee that if you saw 61 or 62 cards, it was a Kiki Cord deck. Apparently 80 is not enough for our Kiki Cord players. This one is playing 81. And I just find that hilarious. Um, only 29 lands in our 81 cards, which feels very low. But yeah, I love this. Just when you, you know, just push it that extra little bit further. If we're going 80, why not 81? I love it. Uh, Rule Ref with Ad Nauseam. And no companion here but a relatively straightforward build. The Bee Meister with another St Steel Shaper's Gift. Umbral Mantle. What are we going for here? This is a Zerta deck, so everything's got to have an activated ability. Somebody please explain this deck to me. I do not see where the combo is. Are we really just playing Umbral Mantle for value? Or are we just making it as big as it possibly can get? So you're putting that on maybe a Bird of Paradise? Leyline of Abundance. That would tap for two. It would only cost one to untap it. So you could make an infinitely large Bird of Paradise? I don't know exactly, but that, I guess. Okay. Uh, 
Exotic Herman with a Lurus. I think this is rock. Green, black, rock. Yep. Good old solid archetype. Manuel Denninger with Lurus Prowess. Boros Prowess. Not really burn, but this is definitely with Lava Darts. It's definitely more the Prowess version. Pyrite Spellbomb. That's that's good with Lurus. Yep, that works. Cactuso Wismok. Wismok. With Merfolk. And this is the mono. This is blue white Merfolk. Running Wanderwim hubs. Cool. No companion. Haven't seen Merfolk in a little bit. Good to see they're still around. BSK Hercules with a Zerda. Uh, there's got to be combos in here somewhere. Deck. Spike Feeder. Walking Ballista, Heliod. So there's our combo. Ranger Captain to find stuff. Eldamri's Call to find stuff. Stoneforge Mystic uh, as maybe Plan 2, Umbral Mantle here. Seeing that card a lot more. So there's there's creature-based combo deck for you. Hamsar 52 with Luris Jund. No, sorry. Luris Jund Shadow. Finish my statement there. Yeah, we've been seeing this deck a fair bit lately. Biesta 93 with Yorion uh, Jeskai Control. Oh no, this is Jeskai Sahili. Some Blood Moons on the side. Omen of the Sea is good to blink with Yorion. Sanso JF with Lurus. Is this Jund Shadow? Or are we... Yep, another Jund Shadow deck. So that's two of them. Two different builds. Or was this Shadow deck... Was this actually four color? No, it's just Jund. So two different Jund Shadow decks. Asoin. Asoin with uh this is just black red mid-range yeah nothing flashy we don't need no stinking companion let's just use some good cards black red mid-range skeletonals here or i guess black red on earth yeah because we've got the skeletonals uh, so a little tricksy but mostly just playing good cards and keeping you from playing good cards. Sondrak gets a 5-0 with Loris Mill. I was hoping I'd never utter that phrase, but I just did. And there we are. If you are so inclined to such things, kudos to them for being able to w get a 5-0 with Mill when there's so many Yorion decks running around. It's almost a quarter... Of the you know, twenty percent of the format maybe is Yorion right now. Um with eighty card decks and you get a five oh with Mill. Congrats. Um didn't think it was possible. Uh speaking of Yorion, here we go. This is Eurosa and we've got Yeah. Yeah, this is just standard Eurosa, I think. Jeska or Teamer, sorry, Teamer Eurosa. Pacha 94S with uh, mono, mono Red Blitz. Yeah. Not going to bother Splash White for uh, Lurus. We're just going to go red and get you dead. Metcalf 23 with Lurus Taxes. Uh, mono uh, Red White. We got the Dire Fleet Daredevil and Seal of Fire. No um, Mishra's Bobble, which is interesting in a Loras deck. But there you go. Sir Shonathon with a Yorion uh, Esper Control. Are we Esper or are we Four Color? We are Esper. 
Nope, we are four color, or coattles. So four color snow control. Mr. Sari with Lurus Scales. That's our second build. Uh, this one is green white. I think the last one was green black. So, you know, take your pick. Freed Mania with Amulet Titan. And anything of note in here? Four sloths. A couple of two fire spouts. That's okay. I haven't seen that since the green red Tron days, I think. Hugo 87 with Storm. And yep. Pretty standard storm build lately. Poncho Nader 55 with Dredge. And yeah. Just one lay light in the void. A couple shenanigans. Yep, Dredge. Drew 647A with uh what do we got going here? Is this eight whack? No, it's just Galia Gruel Aggro. Yep. Atarkas Command. Yeah, this is just slightly bigger than Burn trying to get you dead. Dejojo with a Yorion control deck, and we are four color snow control. Looks like no white in this one. We're no, no, we're we're our Sultai. This is Sultai Snow Control. Twinless Twin is not playing Twinless Twin. They are playing Terminus. Wow. All right. Bant Snow Control. Oh, this is this is Reclamation. Bant Reclamation. Okay. Sure. Aspiring Spike, what are they up to? Uh, Grixis Control. Okay. Sure. I've never been able to play a deck like this, but if that works for you, all the more power to you. And it's running Lurus. Kreevor with Restoration Angel Vincer. This We're up to shenanigans here. We got Yorion. This is kind of a blink deck. There's no Kiki, so we're not going infinite. We're just blinking for value. So, Bant Snow. Bant Blink. Yeah. My Waifu with Lurus... Grixis. No Death Shadow. Just kind of Grixis value. It's not a Delver deck. Not quite fairies, but we're leaning that way. So, kind of a Grixis uh, tempo style deck. Liana of the Vess. Liliana of the Vess. With Junk. Lurus Junk. Uh, very similar to an idea to the build we saw earlier. Sunbeam Spellbomb. That's new. I've not seen that in a while. A couple of those. Huh. Okay. That's a, that's a nice little take on things. Nibble Cow with a Lurus uh, Grixis. Would Grixis? No. Or Mardu. Mardu mid, Mardu control. It's not Mardu uh, pyromancer, because there aren't any pyromancers in the list. But yeah, kind of a Mardu mid-range. VTML 1984 with a... Oh, with Infect. Just good old standard infect as you would have seen a couple months ago. Iskype 529 with our last list of the dump, and it is Tron. I was wondering if we were going to see Tron. Um, just good old classic green Tron. 
not running the Kozilex that we've started to see lately. But uh, yeah, there you go. So uh, that's it for the list today. Um, for your uh, data seeking pleasure, there were 66 lists, 45 of them had companions. And 25 of those were Lurus, 14 Yorion. We also shot, saw a couple uh, Obosh and Zerda, and then one each of Gigantha and Garuda. And that Garuda list was pretty cool. I like that. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, do be on the lookout for that Lurus Humans list. I have a feeling that one might show up a bit. Uh, Thanks for hanging with me here. If you enjoy what I'm doing, do please hit like and subscribe and that notification bell so you know when my next video comes up. And tomorrow is Wednesday. I'm going to be doing something involving looking at our current metagames and seeing where things are. That's about it. And thanks for watching, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.